So this video, I'm going to talk about the the moment the narcissist they meet their match. Okay, there will always be a time when the narcissist will actually get justice for most of the things they have always been uh, they have always been doing to people. Okay, the way they have used and destroyed and manipulated people. It will always come a time when they are going to run into a super empath, okay? So the narcissist match is actually a super empath. So you don't see those guys humble. They may be humble for a reason. They may be very quiet and usually, usually they, are, they are talking less and very quiet people, you know. They speak less, but they observe more, okay? So the super empath normally, those people, when they, when they, when they come into the narcissist life, they usually take their time to to gather evidence, okay? So they'll be watching those guys, the way they behave and what they are doing. They're reading their body language. They're watching what they say. What are they saying? What are they speaking? How they move? They, they'll be watching everything. And most of the time, they're taking notes, okay? But those individuals, it feels like they have got a hidden superpower that actually many people don't know about. Those individuals, they can observe you for years and they will never tell you everything. Actually, they will never tell you anything. They will be observing you and, you know, they will be giving you chances, you know, let's try tomorrow, you will change, or maybe let's try this one, it will work. They will be observing everything and they are going to be taking notes. And you see, when it comes to these kind of narcissistic people, usually one of the things that the super empath is going to observe, which is one of the first one, now I may now actually be giving out our secrets. But it's just for educational purposes, okay? So I don't really care if these nurses were watching these videos or what. So those individuals, they are going to observe. The very first thing they'll observe usually is um, that the guys they are dealing with um, have actually got a very long line. Because you see, when you're adding up all these patterns and putting all the puzzles together, all the pieces together, you figure out that those people have destroyed a lot of people before you. Okay, and they've got away with it. Most of the times they will destroy and run off, destroy and run off. So that's the pattern they would, uh, that's the pattern they do. That's how they operate. They destroy somebody, then they run off to the next one. Destroy that one, run off to the next one. So they just keep on going in circles, sapping up people's energy, destroying them and leaving them to die. And well, that is one of the first observations that the, the super empath will make on the narcissist. So you don't come around with the super empath and they ask you about your exes and you start telling them those stories of those kind of exes who killed themselves. They ended up in hospital. They have this and that. They have all, you know, difficult types of problems and everything. Those people, they are going to dig for the truth. You know, one of the qualities of a super empath, a super empath will, will go behind the scenes, you know, so they will look beyond the illusion and they will look beyond the illusion you're trying to sell them. And they are going to be reading, be, reading between the lines. They are going to investigate. Those guys, they are like spiritual investigators. They are going to investigate even the things you don't want to say. Okay, and that is one of the things, and I think one of the biggest mistakes that nurses do. So nurses, they believe that everybody can be a victim of their game. You know, they believe that they can just go around and in circles destroying and abusing people, and they can just always get away with it. That is always going to happen most of the times in the early part of their journey. Okay, early part of their lives until they will eventually come face to face with a super empath. Okay, so those guys. They are equipped mentally, they are equipped physically, they are equipped emotionally. They know each and everything about evil. So they know all those patterns, all the things you're trying to say. Because I've told you guys, these people, they are the opposites who are on the other side of the spectrum compared to narcissists. Okay, so the two of them are like standing on the opposite side of the spectrum and actually they're mirroring each other. Okay, so whatever the narcissist is doing, the super empath is on the other side of the mirror, mirroring it back to them, okay? And you know that a lot of times these evil entities, these evil people, they do not want to be shown what they look like, you know? An evil person does not want to be shown what they're actually doing and what, what they're actually lo uh, looking like because a super empath can actually mirror their false self back to them, even sometimes without trying. Because I've told you guys, these guys, they're equipped and they've got those abilities to be the narcissist mirror. 
So the reason why you see a lot of times people they tend to think, people they can even think. A person, a person who is not well educated and well informed, sometimes they can mistake a super empath to be a narcissist, you know? Because they can come to that exact point where they are actually doing those things that the narcissists do, okay? But they're only doing them for a reason because most likely they're dealing with a toxic person and sometimes they are mirroring that behavior back to them. So most of the time that's the reason why some super empaths, they can be sometimes even narcissistic. But most of the times, secretly inside of the narcissist, they come to you with an ego, okay? They come to you with an ego because they have always entered relationships with an ego. They always think that they can swim around with these lies and everybody will buy their lies and whatever the games and everybody will play along with them, those kind of stuff. And you see, a super empath can only, uh, can only play for as long as it takes, okay? There's a drone up here, <laughs> a gun stalking, ladies and gentlemen, it's unbelievable. So, a super empath can play along with this game for as long as, as, long as they can as, and as long as it takes. Until they feel that, okay, they have read the whole book, okay? So now they are flipping the book, closing the book, and now they are reading that book back to you. Do you guys know how that thing works, you know? So the narcissist is playing along. This is like a book. They are opening every page, and the super empath is watching, and they are listening, and they are registering everything in their mind. And of course, at the end of the day, the narcissist is going to flip the last page of the book, now the super empath is going to take that book and read it back to the narcissist. And they're going to read back exactly what the narcissist read to them. And that's what the narcissist hate. So the reason as to why most of the times you've heard about the saying that uh, these super empaths, they are the greatest, they are the narcissist greatest nightmare. They are the people who can force, they do not have even to try when they are doing this. They will force that narcissist to look at themselves in the mirror. And those narcissists, the reason why they're always running away from their true self, running away from themselves, is because they do not want to see what they're like. So they do not want to see or to hear anybody who is telling them who they are. Because they already know on the very, very deep level, they know that they're very evil people. So they do not expect anyone to come around and mirror their energy back to them. You know what I mean? Which is actually one of the biggest traits of a super empath. So the narcissists can know that they have come to the end of the road when they meet a super empath. It's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very disastrous. A super empath can break a narcissist, ladies and gentlemen. You know, one of the biggest qualities you will ever, one of the biggest things you will ever do for yourself, and the biggest thing that will ever happen to you is knowing thyself. When you know thyself, you stop to fight with everything because you know who you are, okay? You know who you are, you're not seeking for validation, you're not seeking for attention, you're just being your authentic self. And that is something what evil people cannot do. They do not know how to be and stand in their authentic self, authenticity, okay? So, those people, the super empaths, they are usually very dangerous subjects to deal with, okay? When it comes to those nurses and everything, the super empath is a very, very dangerous subject to deal with. When the narcissist figures out that most of the times they are with you and it feels like you're catching up on their game, whatever game they're trying to play is like you're catching up on them, you know what I mean? That person is going to be very much scared of you, you know what I mean? And that narcissist will know that actually they have made their match. When they meet a person who can always read them like a book, they can always read them from the, it's like they can read them like a, you know, from the tip of their hands. They can open them and read them like a book. Those nurses normally they are very afraid of those kind of individuals, and usually they do their best as well to stay very far away from them because there's very there's a very big chance those people are going to cause them an injury, and they may never wake up from that injury. Okay. I've seen that injury happen to the narcissistic parent. I've seen that injury happen to the ex narcissist. So, me in my opinion, I believe. and even experience as well, I still believe that um, there is some people the narcissist can fool and there are some people who cannot be fooled. Because you see, a super empath can decide when they want to, they can choose to, because they know that they have got that power within them and these other special abilities. So they know that sometimes they can meet a narcissist and they can allow, allow this narcissist to play around and make a fool of themselves. You know what I mean? They will just be watching you and 
you know, you're going in circles and telling these lies and whatever, to turning upside down and they're just watching you. They are watching you make a fool of yourself, a fool of yourself until they know that okay, so we have given you the platform, and I think you've shown everything that you got, everything they wanted to show. And now they are going to stop the game, and now they are going to start mirroring back that energy to you. So the super empath, they are the people who don't usually take any BS from anyone, especially if you come clean with a clean energy, you know, clean intentions and very beautiful intentions. You're going to get the best of them you know what i mean you're going to get the qualities you're going to get the best of them they are going to treat you with kindness with empathy with care and everything they will give you they will give you everything that you want but if you ever come to a super empath with the intention of playing around those games that you've always played before ladies and gentlemen if you're a narcissist you're in for a very big surprise because that person is going to break you to that degree you've never seen before so the only time the narcissist will meet their match is when they come into an encounter with the real super empath that is when the game is going to begin okay so let me know think about this video in the comment section below you guys know that i do love and appreciate your support you can book a session with me you may donate or support my channel if you want to everything you need you will find it in the description below and until then catch you guys in my next one there's almost signing out much love and blessings peace